Hey, I'm Kevin from Gunther Diamond Tools, and today we're going to show how to use the Gunther Diamond Tool drilling system to drill holes in glass. All right, so today I am using the Gunther Hobby drilling system, uh, but all three of our systems will perform the same. The multi-drill mounted on your own drill press, um, or the professional will drill glass in the exact same fashion. I have the system set up with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit with the ejector needle and a 2.5 millimeter counterpoint or counterpart. The uh, water's already on, the power's on, um, and it's operating. So uh, with any stone, the way the system works, you take a piece of glass. This is, uh, I bought this piece of glass at a bead store. It already has a hole in it. Um, but there's lots of room for me to drill another hole. So what I do is I, I take the glass, I rest it on the counter post. Obviously, wear safety glasses. Now you should have your system already set up and you can check out some of the other videos like the hobby or multi-drill setup video to get your drill press ready to drill. Um, but once the initial setup's finished, you just drill this like you drill any other stone. So I drill about halfway through. The diameter of the counterpart is the same diameter as the drill press. So I take that starter hole, I flip it over. Sometimes you have to tap out the core because the core didn't come out. So now the starter hole rests on the counterpart and I drill through the rest of the way and you have a perfectly centered hole every time. And actually, as you can see, the hole that was drilled in this bead by the factory or whoever drilled this from the bead store that I bought it at, The, the holes didn't align perfectly. So you can see one kind of offset from the other. Whereas you look at ours, ours is perfectly aligned like you drilled all the way through. But we didn't. We drilled halfway through one and halfway through the other. And what that prevents is the punch out, the small little chip that would form if I were to drill all the way through. Then the other side would chip because the drill bit fractures the edge as it comes through. But by drilling through both sides, it's perfectly uh, flush, a really nice clean hole, and the counterpart alignment system self-centers it so it's a perfectly straight hole every time. So this is just a nice typical piece of, you know, it looks like it's a tumbled piece of glass um, that the, the bead store had. Here is a piece of, it looks like an old Coke bottle that I found on the ground. This is just a broken piece of glass, kind of sharp, it's not very, um, you know, you kind of want to be careful when you're dealing with glass, but it, it has some sharp edges. Just handle it gently. Now I'm pulse drilling. I don't just push all the way through. I, I push and then release the pressure a little bit, kind of pulsing it, but I don't take the drill bit out of the hole. I get enough pressure on there to, to cut into the, to bite and, and, and cut the hole, but then I back it out, back the pressure off a little bit. So that way I can clean out the material. Now it looks like my core is still in there, so I take my thumbnail and I just break that core and tap it out. And now that starter hole is cleaned out so that it can rest on the counterpoint. And then I go through the other side. I'm not using a lot of pressure, just enough to get it, to hear that cutting noise, and I pulse it. Every time you release on the pressure, 
you should see a little bead of water come up. To that, and that, that's cleaning out all the material from the hole. What you have is a perfectly clean, smooth hole every time, perfectly aligned and centered. All right, now I'm going to drill. Um, this is just a piece of, it looks like a lens of some sort. It's just a, you know, a, a, a disc of glass. I think I, I don't even know where it came from, but I thought it'd be fun to drill because it, you know, you could put a jump ring on it and it would make it pretty cool. Just a weird pendant or maybe the start of an earring. Again, I, I rested on my counter post. I got my water turned on, my drill bit spinning. There's that walk that I talked about. It's trying to walk. Now I push through that spring. I just got a real light pressure. The key to glass is keeping a real light pressure. You don't want to you don't want to push too hard and have the pressure between the drill bit and the counterpart snap the edge of your glass off. There's my bead of water as it cleaning the hole. All right, I'm gonna back it out, pop my core out. Give it a little tap, make sure it's out. There's my starter hole right there. Flip it over, there's my core, you can see it on my finger. Flip it over. Rest it, and again, I'm gonna do real light pressure. Let it touch, push through that spring. And there it is, it's cutting. You can really hear the cutting noise. Getting a little bit of a shower. And I'm through. Now I'm taking my time just because I like a nice clean hole and I'm kind of close to the edge, but I don't want to chip this off with too much pressure. As you get the hang of it, you could probably speed things up a little bit, but at the end of the day, it's not too bad. The last thing I want to try and drill for you, or I will drill for you, is um, this empty wine bottle. Um, that you can turn it into a lamp or any number of things. Um, what's nice about the hobby is it's, the hobby system is it's really easy to adjust the height. So I'm going to release the upper two hand bolts, raise the head up enough so I can fit the base of the wine bottle underneath here. That looks pretty good. Now one thing to note, I will not be able to drill through both sides. I'm only going to be able to drill through one side because I can't get into the wine bottle. So as you approach the point where you punch through, you really want to be gentle. You really want to take your time and just let the, let the drill bit slowly consume the material below, uh, at, right before, underneath, uh, like on, on the back side, so that um, you don't have a big chip on the inside as, as the drill bit punches through. So I have it resting on my counterpoint. It might be, if you're gonna do a lot of these, you might wanna swap this out for the, the plastic rest. Um, if you want a little bit more stability, but you could do it both ways. All right, so I have my drill bit approaching. There we go. I push through that spring. Real light pressure. Real light pressure. Just working through that, keeping the wine bottle stable with my hand on the counterpart. 
All right, pulse drill, just real light. And we're through, just like that. So that's our video on how to drill glass. I hope that gives you some ideas and shows how easy it is to drill a hole in glass using the Gunther Diamond Tool drilling system. Um, check out all our other videos to learn more about um, the hobby system, the multi-drill system, or our professional system. Uh, you can visit us at the link below. And if you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email. Thank you.